What's up, YouTube? So, I come to you tonight at, what is it, 1 o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Let's get this, guys. This is Project Zomboid. This is probably one of the hardest freaking games you will ever, ever have the pleasure of playing. It is so well built and it is so much fun. But holy freaking crap, it is hard. See, it's created by these people. Um, oh man, I forgot their name already. Well, that's why we have this. We can go look it up real quick. No, we don't want settings. We're gonna go to Project Zomboid on Steam. Now this game's only $15. It's been out for a while, but it's still technically an early access game. It was the was it released, I think, back in 2013. Yes. Okay, so this game was originally created by the Indie Stone. And they created a game that is so well built as far as a zombie survival apocalypse setting that it's just wow you know like I have, I have no way of being able to describe this to you guys like for real so I guess what we'll do is we'll just play the game and try to show you as best as I can so I was playing earlier as you can see here on the continue button but I died which sucks so what we're going to do is we're going to create just a basic survival, and we're going to do a new one. We're going to play in West Point, Kentucky. Okay, we'll play for all this time, that doesn't really matter, I guess. And we're not going to really worry about our clothing. Now, you can go with all this stuff here if you want, and this gives you jobs and all sorts of fun junk. You get passive abilities by playing with these, but here's the problem. Passive abilities use up your points. The points have to balance out towards the end, so either you're a positive or you're zero. So everybody has, see, so you can play that with zero, but if you get down to here and you get negative six, which is too many negative, or too many positive traits present, then you have to balance it out with something that's negative. And the negative, I'm telling you, really sucks. So you can be an engineer, electrician, burger flipper, <laughs> burger flipper, believe it or not, that actually helps you, but um, I'm going to go with unemployed, because I start out with 8 points, now, let's see here, we can do, fast reader, dexterous, let's see, cat's eyes is good, as you go down, you know, higher stuff requirements, blah, 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 okay. Beast. What if I did... Outdoorsman. Oh, okay, so this all balances out. I'm with some random unemployed chick. We're gonna save this as... Bestness of awesome... Bestness of awesomeness. Okay. So, start of the game. Yes, creating the character is actually really fun, guys. <laughs> it's really absorbing, anyway. Okay. So, in the end, there was no hope of survival. And then the basic question this game will always ask you is How will you die? Now, what makes this game really unique compared to most zombie simulators. It's, it's nothing like Daisy. This is what Daisy should have been, but in first person. So, the whole point of the game is to try to survive as long as you can against a horde, literally a horde, of relentless zombies that always, always, always are there. You can never avoid them. It's just going to be there. 
So here you go, you have your character. Holding the right mouse button lets you like look around and stuff, and that's really cool. If you move your mouse to the edge of the map, you can look pretty good. That's only if you're holding your right mouse button, though. But you have your inventory, and you got your stuff that you can loot from. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a butter knife. We're going to go ahead and equip that, because you just never know if you're going to need it or not. Red wine, we can grab. Grab it. There we go. Canned corn. So you got a box of sparklers, which we can use to distract zombies, which is nice. We're going to go check out this fridge. Here we got avocado beef jerky. Ooh, that's actually cooked. It's kind of gross. Anyway, so we got broccoli, leeks, onion, peas, and tomatoes. Okay. And then you can get books that you can read. And reading the books is supposed to be able to help. I've never actually done the book reading part. Nothing really happens. Okay, well, we're not going to worry about that right now. Anyway, you walk in, right, you just do stuff. So, this is basically walking around and just checking stuff out. Bros. Who does that? Seriously. Anyway. Lose underwear there. Anyway, so, you got to know before you venture out into here. This is going to be probably one of the hardest experiences in the game right here. You look around, and of course you don't think that there's anything going on, but then you see zombies walking around. It's always generally safer to go around at, at, during the day than at night, because unfortunately during... I saw a bunch of... Uh, they're just wandering. Because at night, they kind of bunch up and get really aggressive. Now, ooh, some windows... Now, there's like two ways you can get into a building. You can go through a door or through a window. The problem with some places is that they're locked. Even the windows are locked. It just makes for a nice little challenge in trying to figure out, okay, how am I going to do this, you know? Okay, well, I don't think I can go that way. But in any event, it allows you to climb through or break out windows and stuff so you can actually um, do what it is that you want to do. I need to find out where this door is. There we go. Okay, that window's locked. <laughs> Salads. We're going to create a salad using... Tomatoes. Okay, so... 
use that as weapons, huh? Not sure that's exactly what I would want to do, but that's fine. So we're gonna go ahead and eat all of this. We'll be fine. We just need to grab grab the ripped sheets and apply a bandage to my right hand. The right forearm. There we go. Now, can we get pain relief from this? I hope. I am injured. Not good. But we're not going to worry about that right now. Okay, so... Whew, this game is really involved. It's really fun to play. Um... Zombies, in general, have a really in-depth interaction system, meaning that while you're, you know, running around and stuff, zombies actually are attracted to simple things like light on in a house. They can look in windows and see you, and they can smell you. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's one of the things that they can do is smell you. But in short, you know, it's, it's just a lot of stuff that can go on here. Okay, so I can't get in through there. I can't get in through that door. Oh, great. Okay, that's not good. walk up on you too. It, it sucks. Oh man, I'm bleeding pretty good here. So let's... It's fine. There we go. So, smash the window. We're gonna remove all that broken glass because I don't want to get cut again. And then we're gonna climb through. Okay, so far so good. Not worried about all that. I know what you can do with that. Ooh, stir fry. We make onion stir fry.
Okay. And there's nothing here. That's fine. So we're gonna go this room. And there's nothing in here either. Okay, so pretty much we've explored the whole area. But um this is just kind of a basic show of what this game can be. Now, I mean, from what I understand you can build homes and you can do all sorts of cool stuff like that. This game is definitely worth the time. I mean, I don't even know how long I've actually played this game. Not very long, but every time I play it, I seem to get so absorbed into it, I just lose track of time. Wow, I'm pretty good. Why am I slightly panicked? That's why. Okay, well, we were able to get rid of that guy. I gotta find some painkillers. Seriously, my person's hurting. Did I just see a trowel? Okay, it's kind of weird. So I can't run now because the person runs too much. seen that before, but that's kind of cool. Ooh, here we go. We have a 9mm pistol. Empty, unfortunately. Oh well. And we're going to go ahead and sleep for... I guess seven hours. Hmm. Queasy. I must still be in a lot of pain then. 2.50 a.m. Now we get to go see what it's like outside. seeing anything. See, the problem with this game, really, is you, it's like Fog of War, you really gotta look around. Yep, there's some zombies right there. We're not worried about them yet. Alright, let's see if I can find a way in. There we go. It's 
there's a window, and now we're home free. I got night vision, so I don't need that on. Do, 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 do. Go ahead and grab all the food here. I'm not going to worry about food. We're pretty good on food for a little bit anyway. I wonder if I could find... Ooh. Duff bag. Yeah, we might need that for whoever who knows what, you know? A pen. They expect me to turn a pen into a weapon. Oh well. Nothing there. Whew. Not feeling good still. Expecting that. See, I like like they ask, how will you die? Yes, there's no medicine cabinet there. 
So far, so good. I mean, I'm hurt pretty good, but at least I'm not dead yet. I guess there really isn't much more to tell you guys, but this is basically the game right here. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy the video for however much I did, and I hope you guys really look into this game, because this is a pretty neat game. It's an older game, but it's definitely going to be worth your time, especially if you get someone else to play it with you. It'll just do a whole lot more. Anyway, so you guys have a good night, and, uh, or a good day, whichever time you decide to watch this video. So you guys have fun with all that, and, uh, have a good day. This video is supported by Omar Pond, a member of Blob Games Studio.